from WPTV. This is Today on 5 at 11. Still to come, love, it's in the air and in the glass. That's right, our <laughs> certified sommelier is here with some romantic red wines for Valentine's Day. Maybe you want to order some wine at those restaurants. Certified sommelier and author of The Glamorous Gourmet, Stephanie Miskew, is here to share some romantic red wines that are perfect for spoiling your sweetheart on the 14th or any time for that matter. Anytime. Hi, Steph. Nice Hi. to see you again. Good to All be right. Back. We got some good stuff, but why are red wines better for Valentine's Day? Red wines are better for two reasons, John. Okay. Give me, Number give one, me two reasons. I got two for All you. All right, good. Number one, they're naturally higher in alcohol. So, you know, they tend to relax us and. Uh, and they, you know, Very make us nice. a little more uninhibited yes, and increase yes. libido. Okay. And, uh, and number two is red wines have more of the aromas and flavors that have been scientifically proven to increase arousal. All right. So you're talking notes of vanilla and spice and strawberry and cherry Ooh. and licorice. So you've got kind of the synergy between the two going when All you're right. talking about this red wine. This segment's wines. over. I yeah, mean. right? I know. And <laughs> moderation is key, like two okay. glasses. We've already hit all the good <laughs> points. All right. Are there any specific grape varieties or regions? Regions we should look yes, for. and I've got some excellent examples for you today okay. And while most of them all their wines are red I had to start with champagne okay. and I love the Moet and Chandon uh, Rosé Imperial Me too. It is a gorgeous wine the real yeah. deal champagne from France um, It's got that beautiful pink color because it has 10% still wine or Pinot Noir mm -hmm. Blended in but again, it has those beautiful notes of strawberry cherry and spice okay. that right. everyone loves so much Is there, is there still that you know uh, California versus Europe? you know, debate. I think they both make beautiful sparkling wines, mm -hmm. but champagne can only come from France. From champagne, but there's France, great sparkling right. okay. wine to be had from all around the world. All right, so take us yes, through the other ones. Absolutely. So then from California, who doesn't love California yes, wine? We have the stuff. Cake Bread Cellars, mm -hmm. Napa Valley Merlot, and if there was ever a grape from California for Valentine's, it's Merlot. It's all about plush, lush, bold, voluptuous yes. fruit, mm. bold notes of cherry, and again, a little bit of spice and licorice. And then but if you're feeling more in the mood for something from France, I love this Gigal Chateau Neuf de Pop from Chateau de Nali. Again, beautiful notes of cherry fruit with a whole host of baking spices and allspice cinnamon. Beautiful, bold, but elegant, made predominantly from old vine Grenache. So again, it's just rich and elegant and you delicious. You had to take French classes to uh, be yes. able to pronounce all this stuff. A little stuff. bit. It's, been, it's very hard, John. Very okay. hard. So, so far we have the uh, sparkling yeah, wine. How much is that? Uh, that one is 50. Our Merlot is 65. The Chateau de Nelis Chateau Neuf de Pop, 99. Okay, so you brought up the uh, the heavyweight well, stuff. Well, it's Valentine's Day. I mean, are you Day. saying a splurge, splurge on Valentine's Day? Splurge on your sweetheart, Day. folks. Okay, all right. Absolutely. I, I agree. Why not? Man, and then all right. I saved the most luscious wine for last. Okay. If you're a fan of chocolate, are you a fan of chocolate? Oh, yes, yeah. Okay. You know I am. <laughs> I know you are. I know. But they might not know. Okay, so, it's a loaded question. Yes. yes. So this is, you need to go out and find some red port. And I love this Taylor Fladgate late bottle vintage port okay. and it is like vintage port without the weight you can drink it now but again it is a fortified wine so it's mm -hmm. a little higher in alcohol it's about 20 percent so you do wow. a smaller pour okay. but there's no more perfect pairing for chocolate than a beautiful a good, sweet delicious dessert yes, yes that's a good one sipping oh. some port with some chocolate right. any advice for you know pairing some foods with some of these wines before we go absolutely other than dessert yeah other here. than we got the, the chocolate, chocolate yeah, thing we got covered that out. All right. yes i have some delicious recipes on my website uh, i have beautiful mustard roasted fish that's tremendous nice. and then a steak au poivre that would pair beautifully Ooh. with our reds and some yes. other fun dessert wine and chocolate pairings that'll wake up your on appetite, my website huh? that's steak yes. au poivre. Beautiful. Oh, yes. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to you. Okay. Cheers. Love that sound. <laughs> All right, back over to Aaron. Yes, cheers to that.